What's up everyone? Welcome back to Elden Ring, where here I am uh, in a pretty cool looking place. Uh, this is some secret area that I discovered uh, by riding down the elevator. I was just exploring Sea of River Well Depths. Uh, this is looking like a full complete area and I sort of just discovered it by accident and I was like, I need to record this. This cannot be sort of a part of a normal, like, um, Elden Ring Explorations video. I feel like this area is much more than that. So, we're going here, I guess. This is going to be what we're doing in this episode. This is the thing about this game. Again, like, I can't stress how easy it is. I think you can use the horse here, yeah. Why not? I can't stress how easy it is to get distracted. There's just so many uh, areas. And the thing is, you never know what's going to be just like a short dungeon and what's going to expand into some crazy full optional area type deal. This is the ladder. So, yeah. But, you know, that's the fun part of it. Obviously... Subsequent playthroughs of this game are going to be very, very different. Uh, they're just gonna be. Like, even though I'm 100% not gonna explore everything. Okay, I need to check out these things, like, what they are. Alright. We're gonna see these enemies. They're pretty strong. Oh, are these the same enemies as in the other underground area? I think so. These guys seem slightly weaker. Those guys were very strong. Or I got slightly stronger. Yeah. Because that's the thing I was gonna say next is... We'll need to see whether... I'm like actually meant to be here. Or whether this is like advanced. And it doesn't seem so bad so far. Magic is out of the question. But... Let's see if we can bleed them. Or like... How the fast attacks. Nah, you can't bleed them. And they have a shit ton of stamina, so... Let's go for the big sword. So yeah, again, subsequent playthroughs are going to be very different. Obviously, I've th I think I mentioned this before, and it's sort of a given. That... For the sorcery guides and all that, I'm going to be looking stuff up. Like, obviously, I wouldn't be able to and wouldn't like to, like, memorize everything for this game. I think it's impossible. But that's for a later date. A much later date. Actually, I don't know. Like, uh, I think even if you stick to the main quest, this game is fairly lengthy. But, you know, with this tactic of me cutting out some of the the bulk, you know, it's gonna... Whoa! Okay, that's gonna explode. Is that gonna explode? Or, yeah, knew it. I'm too wise. Whoa, that was an interesting attack. They, these guys do deal a lot of damage, so you just need to be careful. They don't react too well to fucking... Uh, different angles of elevation, that's for sure. Oh wait, what the fuck am I doing? Why do I have wolf wolf foes, you know? Actually, the wolves might not be the best summons here, because these guys have so much poise. I think the wolves really excel at... No, no, they, they're doing well. But I feel like the wolves are really sort of excelling at uh, stunning smaller enemies. I think that's kind of their purpose, but I don't know if I have like a reliable alternative. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna check these items out. Yeah, you'd be fucked if you came here early. Like, absolutely. What the hell is that spell? It's like a Pokemon attack, like a Squirtle attack. Yeah, Rainbow Stones. Alright. Um... Uh, the place itself is badass, very atmospheric. 
I'm not sure if these underground areas have a map or an equivalent of a map. That would be mega helpful. But I don't know. Okay, so we can go up here. Or continue. Yeah, before we go any do anything else, I'm gonna see what I just got. Yeah, it's all it's all cra crafting shit. You know, not not that I'm saying that negatively. That's okay. Oh shit, there's so many of them. Uh I think what might be smarter here is just yeah. Pick up our stuff and just get the hell out of here. No no way am I fighting this many of these guys. Uh, it's just a giant pain in the ass. Let's see if I missed anything here, though. Oh, yay. I kind of did. Not even missed. Oh, fuck. Man, a horse, com <laughs> a horse combat is fucked up in this game. Uh, yeah, I mean, it works. It, it's not that. It's just... Don't look for too much depth here. Like, whatever. Let's move on. Uh, this is definitely where we need to go. Can we? Can we go in there with our horse? Ah, oh, fuck no. That would be way funnier. So this is why Skyrim is better because you can do anything with your horse. I'm only kidding. I haven't even played Skyrim, which people are gonna probably shit on me when I said that, but. And this place is so cool. <laughs> like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's so atmospheric. And there's like weird... I guess we're in like a giant cave or something. But it looks like the night sky is there. It's probably like some stones or something. Preserving boluses. This counters something. Uh, all these boluses are like the... Sort of like the, you know, cures for shit. I'm on, I'm, I always go in the wrong. Yeah, whatever. Alleviate Scarlet Rot. Oh, this is like that other thing, right? Uh, Scarlet Rot accumulates gradually, coming into effect once the threshold is reached. Greatly lowers HP. I think this is like toxic. Uh, it's been like mentioned before the scarlet lo rot thing it's probably there's some like lore implication oh is that the map crab no <laughs> I keep thinking all of it. like th these looks like the these look like the map markers I can't even talk holy shit this place is so cool and this is like a huge area I thought this was just gonna be that little small section there. What the fuck, man? Yeah, it's a giant cave. And looks like there's like buildings here and shit too. I'm loving this. And this is better because the other area... Was it Ainsley River or Ainsley River or something? That, that was actually way too advanced. Uh... So, no luck going there. Yeah, but it, there's no map. Crab. Giant enemy crab, for sure. You just probably spam. Yep. They're weak to magic because they're dumb. And they can't even hit me because I'm on a different angle of elevation. Sorry, crab. But you are hostile, aren't you? So, screw you then. Man, a map would be mega helpful here. I know I'm not going to keep complaining that there is no map. I'm just going to start exploring. Uh, there's a lot of deer here, that's for sure. Whoa. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> I am I am really liking this place. Uh, GG's from soft. Like, every single area in this game so f Never mind. Never mind. They do have maps. Oh, cool, cool. Okay, this is not too big. Uh, yeah, let's... 
I'm assuming that that looks like an ever jail. Yeah, let's have a look around. Hallowhorn grounds. I love the names of everything. That is definitely an enemy. Probably something that's gonna screw me too. Oh shit, no it's not. It's that thing Malfurion rides on in World of Warcraft. Not World of War Warcraft 3, I should say. Not sure why this is a separate area. This looks like something that will like... Hmm. It, there must be something here to do because they wouldn't ne name it something else specifically. Uh, unless it had some significance. What up? I know I just, I just straight up just like attack them. Okay, so this area... Okay. So initially... It did seem like this area might be... Like, beyond my current level. But it doesn't actually look like it now. Hmm. Weird. Maybe it's just that initial area it's meant to like deter you or something. Because yeah, this is this is just completely fine. Yeah, it's basically mainly just Ooh nice. That looks pretty cool. Hmm. I mean it's not that much heavier. And it has a hundred percent physical block. I do have a lot of cool shields. Uh, but the problem is it doesn't really... Like, it's nice. But we gotta keep fashion in mind as well. It sure as hell would be nice having a 100% physical block shield. But man... Yeah, this iron round, it fits the sort of vibe of this character. If I was playing some normal knight, that other shield would be more appropriate. Okay, let's just... Check out what the hell you need to do here. Light flame. Okay. Oh! That, that wasn't on before, right? Oh, is this one of those areas? Like fucking... The Poison Swamp from Dark Souls 2? I mean Dark Souls 3. Hey, you guys were in Metroid Prime as well, I remember you. Oh, fuck. I didn't think they were gonna shoot. Yeah. That's not what they did in Metroid Prime. That's for sure. Yeah, this is one of those areas. Uh, the... Do X things. And then something happens. Ooh! Buried! Cool. Well, let's get to it then. That's another one, right? Uh-oh! You know what? Ah, oh, fuck, I didn't rest at the side of graves, did I? Because I'm stupid. Okay, you guys need to chill a little bit. Actually... Okay. Yeah, three of you like <laughs> fucking hell. Okay. Do I have a solution for you guys? Drink that flask. I can go in here guns blazing. Because I have that, yeah. That is actually a really good flask. Uh, and I think the stamina, increased stamina recovery stays even after. Like, those two effects are unrelated to each other, which is really good. I'm gonna go back and rest, though. I'm gonna be hearing this whistle quite a lot here. I'm assuming the general vibe is that whenever these guys show up, there's gonna be... Whoa, okay. 
I didn't know you have like bong magic or something on you too. I do like that bong magic though. Oops, that's not okay. Okay, let's not get let's not get overconfident here. But just a little bit. I'm feeling like I'm doing better at parrying in this game. Um, the thing is, without being an arrogant fuck, uh, I am very good at parrying in Dark Souls 1 and Bloodborne. I'm like a god parrier. I can parry anything. Uh, Dark Souls 2 I'm absolutely horrible at parrying. And then Dark Souls 3 I was in between. And this game sticks closest to Dark Souls 3 in terms of... There's another one in terms of how the parry mechanic sort of feels. So I feel like that's what I need to do. I need to get used to parrying in this game. That's how I, again, I, that's how it always goes with me in Dark Souls 3, that I start out shit. Yeah, these archers are, we need to kill them first. Oh fuck, I didn't know you have the weapon too. I bust out the bong magic again. Whoa, okay, there's... One of them just like crapped out, did you see? Yeah, that one just straight up, okay. Yeah, these guys are fairly annoying and mass like this. This is a more of them kept coming. Okay, but we know that wherever my rooms are, there is a thing to lit up, to light up, I should say. These guys don't give jack shit souls either, which is a disappointing fact. I mean, what the shit? <laughs> oh, is this... Are they just gonna be like sniping you left and right? Here's what I'm planning on doing. Yeah, if they like charge up their shit, it's annoying. Yeah. I see what's going on here. Uh, but since these guys don't give a lot of souls, and since there is nothing here that I really want, in terms of like drops from them or something, I don't feel bad about ignoring all of them. It's called being smart, and I gotta not forget about that wind tunnel way back there. This one's still sniping me. Get back to your original spot. And there's another one right there. Which brings us up to, I think, like six, right? What the fuck was that? All right, Hercules. This really does feel like being in, like, the Night Elf area in Warcraft. Like, even the Wisps, you know? I'm about to hear, you know, like, a mountain giant showing up or something. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, that one is just like... What? Hold on. This is why I purchased this. Is that dude just like bewitching? What? <laughs> there's, there's like a group of rabbits praying to that dude who's like picking corn or something. We'll we'll leave them alone. I feel like I would be a dick to disturb that little scene right there. I don't want to be a dick. Okay, this area is Okay, there's another one. This area is bigger than I expected it to be. It didn't look this sort of... Whoa, okay. 
I don't feel bad about killing rats though. Maybe you should, you're just supposed to do all of this with your with your horse. That's another place that you can light up, right? It is, yeah. Man, why doesn't Torrent have poise? That is such a dickish attack. Holy fuck. Rats and dogs and all that can get the fuck out right from this game. Man. Again, like, I need to figure out the poise mechanic, because just having a little bit of poise would help so much. Okay, Torrent, eat some of this. Because you're low on HP. Oh, fuck. All these rats and these... Man, they work really well together. That horn attack is insane. Still, again, I... am being a little bit sort of apathetic here because... I don't have that many... sort of... souls that it would really cause a problem for me to lose them. It's like strangely resistant to, you know, magic. Maybe that's just a rat quality. Okay, you're dead already. Just gotta be careful. That horn comes through. I'm screwed. Told you. They like that attack too. Oh, fuck. Initially, these guys didn't seem this difficult. Or, like, I should say the standard ones with the. Oh, man. The standard ones with the. Oh, no! You know what? Screw this. Got invincibility, bitch. Power, is, power gathers somewhere in the horned remain. Did I get all of them already? I sure as shit didn't feel like I got all of them. Oh, is this a golden seed? Speaking of... Oh yeah, fuck. Completely forgot to use my golden seed or whatever it's called. Yeah, it is called a golden seed. I was gonna say there is like... Shit over here too. Hmm. Like, this, like, weirdly, there's a castle here or something, or, like, a big building. But maybe this is the way in? Uh, I feel like I'm going, whoa, way off the beaten path. Nice. Is this it? I do like me a free rune arc, I'm not gonna lie. The one last place I wanna see is here, the edge of the map. Like, what the hell is over there? What? That's definitely something. Yeah, okay, okay, I was just about to say I... Kinda have a feeling there's gonna be a shit ton of them in the way, and... That is exactly the case. I mean... Oh, are they stupid enough to aggro on you? They kind of are. Oh, man. So I need to like... Yeah, I need to aggro them over here to me. Because that arrow attack is redonkulous.
two, and then three. Oh, shit. That homes in so much. There's a rat in the way, too. And you can't summon here. Great. Fuck, not having poise sucks, man. Like, these rats are fucking up my shit left and right. Okay, I think it might be... Oh, there's rats here, too. Why, did, why does there have to be rats here? Like, I feel like these, like, diseased-looking rats are the last enemy that fits the vibe of this place. Uh, and I was gonna say, it kind of makes me... Ooh, okay. So you can sneak up behind them. Whatever, just kill him, just kill him. Yeah, one down. I need to get the other one who's like... Wasn't he like perched up on here? He wasn't. At least there's a goddamn checkpoint. Okay. So maybe when they're isolated with torrent they're not so bad except there. Okay, holy fuck man, that was a struggle. That was a real struggle. Uh, the, it's a possibility that I'm not meant to be here just yet. But then again, it's weird because the damage I'm dealing to them, maybe it's just, this is just a hard area. Could be. Or like my defenses are not right or something. Doesn't matter, we got through. Uh, this really looks like an ever jail. So we'll see if it's actually that. And then we gotta check out that viewport, or the, like the teleporter. Clarifying, ooh, it's a charm. This is an Everjill. Uh, raises focus. Focus governs resistance, blah, blah, resistance to sleep and madness. Eh, I mean, it, listen, I'm not gonna criticize it. Because, do I have one? Yeah, okay. Uh, I was going to say, I'm not going to criticize it because it's very possible that... Hold on, where is that? There will be an area where like madness is going to be sort of the main mechanic, and then I'm going to be very happy to have it. Alright, let's see where this goes. Probably to that ruin over there, I'm guessing. These things tend to teleport you to the direction you're looking at, or they're looking at. Oh shit, does it just bring you back to the beginning? I think it does. It do. Alright, the other thing I wanted to check out is that spirit spring or whatever it's called. Alright, let's have a look. Cool. See, you can get on top of the ruins. I knew it. Look at this place. I'm really hoping you can get there too. This area is really awesome. Oh, shit. Precision platforming is still not the easiest thing in this game. I'll tell you that much. Oh, nice. There's a dude there. What, or is that like a... No, you can definitely get there. That's one of those treasure. But how? How, how, how? So it looks like you can kind of slowly drop down over here. Whether there's anything here that's worth it is another question. Man, I love shit like this. I love exploring.
Listen, I've played Tomb Raider as a kid. It was one of my favorite games. And... Ah, oh, shit. Oh, no. No, no, no. I'm not dead. You know, exploring, like, abandoned ruins is kind of my thing. I feel like that has... It just has, like, such a vibe to explore some, like, long-abandoned place. And then you can... Def, yes. Probably, yeah, this, <laughs> this doesn't go anywhere. All right. Um, how many stone sword keys do I have? I have two. That has to be enough. I don't think there's more than two needed ever. Oh, and I'm worried that, that this is just gonna go to <clears throat> some place in the overworld and it's just like a shortcut and I'm gonna be pissed. But maybe it doesn't. I'm too curious. Stone, I can buy stone sword keys back in uh, the round table hold. It costs like 3,000 souls a piece and at this point in the game getting 3000 souls I know you know I keep saying souls but you know what I mean uh, it's not the worst thing in the world look at that place too you can def yeah just comparatively where we were you can 100% go there that definitely looks like an area there's no way that's not oh this is just gonna lead back to the overworld uh, I'm worried Aside from it being a long ass elevator ride, snake eater. Kaled? This goes to Kaled? Deep Sea of Frewell. Okay, well. I'm not going to pass up the chance to use a grace point. Uh, oh shit. This is just a This is just another way to get to the same place. Fuck. I don't think that was worth it. Now I need to go all the way back. Yeah, okay. I knew there was going to be something with this, like, it, it was just two centerpiece. Ah, I need to use my... I need to power up my flasks. One more second. Okay, now it's three. Cool. That should give us eight flasks now. Nice. Back to where we were. Just one more comment before we interact with this. That is 100% somewhere you can go to that building is it just looks too important you know it it just it's something maybe it's another there's another way in here i know when something is something and especially in this game where you can basically uh explore almost any place you see this is a boss uh what should we do i think we're okay item wise Wolves, we got the wolves. Let's buff up. Oh, is that... Do I seriously have that? Shit. Ancestor spirit. Oh, this is not... Okay. Not a torrent fight. It's way too far away. What am I doing? It's Malfurion's ride. Oh, he's easy. I kind of thought something like that was going to happen. Yeah, okay. What the hell is that noise he's making? He looks really cool. Okay, that lingers. He is super cool. Whoa, okay, camera. Whoa, badass. <laughs> that is badass. 
He's like Torrent. Cheating ass double jumping. Whoa, okay. He's really similar to Sanctuary Guardian. That's the vibe I'm getting. I just need to be more careful. He's not easy to hit. I think I'll be able to like out HP him, really. Unless he has some crazy second phase. I need to listen to some of these boss themes offline because they they sound like they sound really good. I just need to, you know, because I'm recording, I need to have the volume turned down pretty low. That third attack is pretty quick. Easy. Cool boss. Really cool boss. But easy though. Ancestral follower. Oh, you can summon these guys. Cool. That didn't even give me enough for a level. Um... Oh yeah, you can't summon Torrent here. So... Oh, there it is. Yeah, that, that was badass. That was badass. See, I, I still don't know when you're meant to come here. Like, it seems like the boss especially was below my level. And the enemies... Like, the amount of damage the enemies took as well. But then again, they dealt so much damage that it made me question whether, like, like what's up. Okay, I think we can get out of here. Um, that was a fun little adventure, wasn't it? It's nice that it connects to Kaelid. I don't know when I'm gonna get to Kaelid. I wanna get back on track and explore what's beyond Rail Lucaria. Um... But I feel like this was, yeah, this was a fun little distraction. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'll wrap up this episode here. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Elden Ring. If you did, as always, make sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will catch you next time. Peace out and goodbye.